Good morning, guys. Uh, we're going to continue on with John 2. Hope you're having a great day, or that you're about to. That's a really good dog named Dude. Or Meathead, I'm not sure which of the two. So if you hear that, that's not Dexter. He's under the bed. Sleeping. Let's see. Um, from water to wine. Three days later, there was a wedding in the village of Cana in Galilee. You shouldn't have barked back. That's what I get. Yeshua's mother was there. Yeshua and his disciples were guests also. When they started running low on wine at the wedding banquet, Yeshua's mother told him, they're just about to run out of wine. Yeshua said, is that any of our business, mother? <laughs> Yours or mine? This isn't my time. Don't push me. Well, she went ahead anyway, telling the servants, whatever he tells you, do it. Which tells you that she was probably part of the wedding party planning committee or something. Six stoneware water pots were there because the servants paid attention to what she said. Six stoneware water pots were there, used by the Jews for ritual washing. What that means is that there was six stoneware water pots that were used for cleaning feet and hands and whatnot when they first arrived to the banquet. So six stoneware water pots were there, used by the Jews for ritual washing. Each held 20 to 30 gallons, big, big, huge pots. Yeshua ordered the servants, quote, fill the pots with water. And they filled them, to, filled them with water. Uh, fill them to the brim. Now, till your pitchers, now fill your pitchers and take them to the host. So what he's asking these servants to do, which I've always found really, really like, wow, is that I know this is a wedding party, which is a really big deal. It's a wedding day of your host. And, um, and I get that, you know, I just told you to fill the water pots. They were full, supposedly of water for cleansing. And I now I'm telling you to fill them, your pitchers, so you're supposed to, you know, give this wine to your boss's guests to. Hey, just, just go do that. Just pretend it's wine. Well, they did it. So they either had high respect for Mary, who must have been one of the people that put the party together, or both him and Yeshua's spiritual obvious power directed them in calm peace to, yeah, I'll do that. Because, you know, I don't mind getting fired. When the host tasted the water that had become wine, he didn't know what had just happened, you see. But the servants did. They knew. He called out to the bridegroom. And why he, the host was calling out to the bridegroom is because the bridegroom, bridegroom, get it, you get it. The bridegroom, um, his family is in charge of the wine, it seems, um, to the, you know, I'll throw the party for my daughter's wedding, but you as the bridegroom bring the wine, the celebration wine. Everybody I knew, this is what the host says, you know, he called out to the bridegroom and said, everybody I know begins with their finest wines, and after the guests have had their fill, aka once they're drunk, brings in the cheap stuff, but you, bridegroom, have saved the best until now. So not only did Yeshua turn that water into, good, into wine, he turned it into like excellent good wine. And um, I think that's pretty, pretty telling in a lot of ways, as I'm sure you as well do. There's so many aspects to this. It's like the faith of the servants, the, the, the bravery of the servants, really. The, the host, like the gratitude that he felt that I'm giving my daughter away to somebody that would be this awesome, like to save the best for last. And where, what days are we in? We're in the last days. And they're saving the best for last. Um, the fact that M M Mary was like, N son, it's time. Let's get to it. And he's like, no, it's not. And then he did it because it was his time and she knew it. It's just, there's so many things here. It's beautiful. This act in Cana of Galilee 
was the first sign Yeshua gave, the first glimpse of his glory, and his disciples believed in him. After this, because you imagine the disciples, I mean, they had to be tripping, like, what are you doing? Why are they listening to, what's happening? Oh my God, they're going to drink that one. And they drink it, and they, what do you mean it's the best one? Oh my gosh, he just turned water into wine. And it was his mother that told him to do it. What? After he, this, he went down to Capern, Capernaum. I used to know how to say it. You see, if you don't use it, you lose it, which is why I'm doing these. We need to get back in the Word. We need to stay in the Word. What do you get back in the Word? Yeah, I know. And this, he, uh, after this, he went down to Capernaum. Cap, Cap. It's C, I know, right? I should know this. I used to know this. C A P E R N A U M. Capper, Capernaum. Okay, I can't. The dog knows I won't be able to remember. But along with his mother, so his mother went with him, brothers and disciples, brothers and disciples, because you gotta remember, Yeshua was, may have been the first kid in that marriage, but he won the last. So he took his mother, his brothers, and his disciples and stayed there for several days. Now, tomorrow will be tear down the temple. So, as of today, just I pray that you are happy. I pray you are healthy. I pray that you are kept from harm. And I pray that you are kept from suffering. And that this in a small way, will be of service to you. I love you very much. We'll see you tomorrow, and we'll do the tear down this temple part, which is still chapter 2 of John. But uh, quite a different story. I love you guys. Talk to you tomorrow.